Hi guys, hope you're doing great. So in today's video, we're gonna give you a more in-depth review of the new dry clay recipe that we did last time. And uh, well, some of you guys were having quite some problems with the medium process of this clay. So we thought to review this once again with you guys. We're talking particularly about this homemade air dry clay right here. We have 450 grams approximately. And as you can see, this clay is awesome. It holds shape really, really well. Its consistency is great. And its workability is awesome for crafting and for sculpting as well. This clay will take us three days to be made and you will need to be really really patient because the kneading process is pretty annoying but it's worth it and uh, with this new approach to the kneading process you won't get your hands all covered with clay and you won't ruin your nails while making this clay I promise and so if you're interested in the making process of this clay please keep on watching. I use these milliliter silicone cups for measurements, so I apologize if you hear me talking about chalk powder in milliliters. We're gonna need 200 milliliters of wood glue, 50 milliliters of vegetable oil that we're gonna use throughout the kneading process, 450 milliliters up to 550 milliliters of chalk powder, and nine sheets of toilet paper we're also going to need a clean bucket like this one we're going to take our nine sheets of toilet paper and we're going to soak them in water like so we're going to tear them apart and we're going to take them to our blender so our paper is fully integrated with the water and now we're going to separate the paper pulp from the water with a strainer. We're going to take out almost all of the water in it, like so. And we're going to add a bit of oil into our bucket like so, just to help the steering process. And now we're going to empty our glue. We're going to add our paper pulp, like so. And we're going to stir it until it's completely integrated without any lumps, like so. And now we're going to add just a half of the chalk powder to make the mixing easier. We're gonna keep that for later. We're gonna stir our ingredients until we have an homogeneous mixture just like this. We're gonna add what was left of the chalk powder and we're gonna stir until it's fully integrated into it. We're gonna add a bit of oil like so and we're gonna integrate it into the mixture like so we're gonna need a clean surface where to spread our clay like this one it can be a, a tile it's okay whatever that you have at hand we're gonna cover it with a bit of oil like so this will help us to prevent the clay from sticking to our work surface. We're gonna bring in the clay like so. So at this point the clay is very very sticky. So don't touch it with your bare hands. Help yourself with a spatula like I'm doing right now. So we're gonna try to spread it as evenly as possible. Continue to spread it until you have an even spread layer. And now cover it with a generous coat of oil, paying attention to the edges. They don't have to be paper thin, but about uh, five millimeters thick. This is really important because 
the edges are going to dry faster than the rest of the spread layer and we don't want them to get hard but to become dense we're gonna let it rest for around 8 hours and we're gonna come back later so it's noon the dough has been drying for 8 hours and the thin slightly denser layer covers it as you can see but we are only going to focus on the edges we're going to refresh them with the rest of the oil that has been spread on our work surface we refresh the whole layer and we're gonna let it rest for the rest of the night hello so it's been a full night about 13 hours or so and a thicker layer is covering the whole dough as you can see it's not uh, precisely a hard crust as you can tell but in the inside it's still wet so we're going to bring the whole crust into the dough starting with the edges like this we lift the edges and we incorporate them into the dough like so make sure that it's fully integrated and as you can tell it's still wet so don't don't grab it I'm just refreshing the dough with uh, the oil that's on my work surface as you can see it has enough so it won't stick on your skin and so we're gonna let it rest for around 40 minutes 30 minutes have passed and by now the crust must have soaked the moisture of the rest of the dough so it's ready to be spread once again exactly as we did before like so as you can tell our dough is way much thicker than before we repeat the same process we spread it as evenly as possible to help us spread properly we are gonna cover it with a coat of oil like so and now we're calling our wood roller to help us we're going to press it gently so the clay won't stick all over our tool focus on the edges as we did previously remember the edges need to have a considerable thickness not paper thin and as we did before we're gonna cover it with a generous coat of oil and we're gonna let it rest for 8 hours or so so guys 8 hours have passed it's noon by now and we're just going to refresh the edges by bringing them into the clay like I'm doing right now refresh all of those edges patiently smooth them properly into our dough so we're just prepping our dough for the rest of the night that's gonna rest without our supervision approximately 13 to 14 hours Ah, uh, finally, we are on our last day of the process of making this clay. Our dough looks like this. As you can see, a really firm but not hard crust, thicker than the one on the previous day has formed. Don't worry, it's okay for the clay to look like this. As you can see, it's a dense crust but it's not hard and you can appreciate the amount of oil that I use there are puddles all over my uh, dough so I'm just repeating the same process as the previous days I'm bringing in the crust into the dough like so 
I'm just making sure that all of the crust is well integrated into our dough, like so. Uh, at this point, the clay is way much easier to work with. As you can see, it doesn't stick onto your skin anymore, but still is way too moisture. So I'm just making a ball of clay so the crust will soak all of the excess moisture and we're gonna let it rest for 40 minutes and we're gonna start kneading with our roller. Okay, it has rested and we're gonna roll out our clay like so. It looks ready, actually, but it's not. As you can see, it's still sticking onto our work surface. So that is a sign that the clay needs to cure a bit more. So we're gonna roll out our clay as thin as possible, like I'm doing here, and cover it with oil, as I'm doing here. Let it rest for two up to three hours. So the clay has rest two hours, and by now, as you can see, it's denser than before, but it's way much easier to work with it. We are almost at our desired texture, but still needs to cure a bit longer. This time, roll the dough out as thin as possible, if you can make it less than 3 millimeters, it, it will be great. And you will let it rest for an hour. Okay, our clay has rested for an hour. Look at this. It doesn't stick anymore onto our workspace. Oh my gosh. It's almost done. Actually, if you like it at this point, you can leave it like this. Personally, I like it denser, thicker, but that's up to you. <laughs> I don't know why we are so interested in making our own air dry clay. Existing so many brands out there. <laughs> but I have to be honest, there's this unique pleasure in making your own clay. I guess only crafters will understand me. I love making my own air dry clay. Even if it's so hard to make it. Finally, our clay is ready. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you ha have found it uh, helpful. I hope you try this recipe. I guarantee you that you will achieve a really high, high, high quality air dry clay at home. With a lot of effort. <laughs> thank you so much. I'll be uploading more content really soon, so stay tuned. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Ciao, ciao.